to another Sony Vegas tutorial. This tutorial is going to be all about the pan and crop tool in Sony Vegas and I'm not going to lie, I've been trying to do this tutorial about 20 times now and I'm just going to try and get this quick uh, done quickly. So, anyways, let's get started. I'm in my project media tab and I'm just going to drag in this clip here that I got from some stock footage site. can't remember the name but it's a really good site. It has uh, free stock footage. Really good stuff. So, here we got some clip here. Uh, I have no clue where this is. But to get to your pan and crop tool, just click on the little square here. It looks like a, a white square. And just click on that and it'll grab you there. Or you can just right click on your clip and hit video event pan slash crop. Now to basically pan into an area, just simply drag one of the corners into that corner. Or the other corner. So let's say that I want the video to zoom into the top left corner. Well, I'm going to drag the bottom right corner and pull it into the top left corner. As you can see in the video preview, I can do this sort of effect. The same goes for the top right corner. I can go into the bottom left, the bottom right, or the top left, or whatever I want really. Or I can not drag any of the corners and just position my mouse inside of the square and then just move it around. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Just play around with these and uh, it should come naturally to you. Now let me uh, talk about all the options on the side here. Let me just fix this here. Anytime you want to reset your uh, settings to default, like let's say you're playing around and then oh my god you messed it up and what are you going to do? Well if you go up here to where it says preset untitled, we can change this to default and it will fix it up for you. Now let's talk about these options here. Uh, the normal edit tool, uh, just leave it. Zoom edit tool, just leave it. And enable snapping, uh, definitely have this uh, disabled. If it's enabled, look what happens. I'm trying to move it around and it's really uh, kind of jerky. Uh, it's not really that free movable. It's kind of lags and stuff. Uh, just try it out for yourself. You'll see what I mean. And it's not really comfortable. So that's what it's like when enable snapping is on. Now let me show you what it's like when it's turned off. One sec. Alright, so now it's off. See how uh, smooth it is? I can move it completely freely. And it's really easy to do. So make sure that uh, enable snapping is always off. And then lock aspect ratio. I recommend that this is always on. Now this is what it does. So if lock aspect ratio is on, uh, it keeps its proportion size. It doesn't change aspect ratio. And if you you can see if I try and uh, move this top or this bottom right corner in a specific way, it doesn't always work. So it only goes in one direction. Now if lock aspect ratio is off, I can move it freeform and I can change the aspect ratio and I can get this kind of result like widescreen or I can get a really small aspect ratio like one by one or something and you know so I you can do whatever you want really but I like to keep lock aspect ratio on it makes everything cleaner okay uh, two more options here size about center if this is on and then you try and drag the corner it sizes everything in the center of the video so let's say I wanna change the size of it just drag the corner notice how it focuses on the center now this is what it's like when it's off turn off uh, size about center now let's try and do the same thing it goes into the corners rather than in the center so again pretty self-explanatory I usually keep it off but you have like no reason to not have it off it's totally up to you it's not gonna make too much of a difference just do whatever you want I usually leave it off and now this final thing um, move freely uh, there's three icons here there's this one where the arrows are pointing in all four directions there's this one where the arrows are only pointing horizontally and then there's this one where they're only pointing uh, vertically so if your icon looks like this you can move your uh, picture around freely and if it looks like this you can only move it vertically or sorry horizontally if it looks like that you can only move it horizontally and if it looks like this you can only move your video up vertically so I usually keep it at move freely but you can do whatever you want I just keep it at move freely and that's basically it for the pan and crop tool you can also incorporate some keyframing here like if I put a keyframe down here at the two second mark and let's move this into the top left corner exit this out let's play it moves into the top left corner just with a simple keyframe. I suggest you check out my other tutorials. I have some specifically on keyframing. 
and you can get more familiar with keyframes. Now we can create something like this. Let's try this out. How about we put a keyframe at the two second mark, uh, position this thingy here in the top left corner so that we get this result, just like that. Then we cut the video right here, just split the video by hitting S on your keyboard. And then with our new splitted footage, the one that we just created, go back to our pan and crop tool. And notice how the keyframe is already set there. Now let's uh, move this into the bottom right corner. Now look at the effect that we get here. Pretty cool. And yes, this is the exact same technique that I used to do the zooming in my tutorials. With what I just showed you right now, we can create something like this. How about we go to the top left? Uh, top right? Bottom right? Bottom left? Center? Ooh, I'm so cool. So, yeah, it's basically pretty simple. Just mess around with everything. And one more thing. All this stuff here, this is just for uh, putting in your own details. Like right here where it says width, I can actually manually type it. So I can have width at 120, height at, uh, you know, 100 or something. And then it manually puts in the settings, but who does that anyway? So just leave it, well, you can do whatever you want, but I don't really see why you have to put in the details when you can just do it manually like this. But whatever, it's all up to you. So that's basically it for the pan and crop tool. Uh, I finally did it. Wow, after all those attempts at it. But that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.